Okay. Paul Chilimo, congratulations. That was a great run tonight, but is it a bit bittersweet because you were just outside that 27 10 time? Yeah, yeah, that's tough, man. Like, it's but it's a good predictor, you know. I, I ran all alone, like, the second place was 27 30. You know, I was all alone, all in front, and tried to go for it. So, really, but the good thing is, the, the thing that makes me happy is that I got, I got the course record, you know. So it's like there's a nice bonus for that yeah, as well, isn't there? It's bittersweet still, yeah, yeah. Because it's like so you had a good night, really. Yeah, really, it's a good night because if I miss the course record and then I miss the standard, it's, it's gonna yeah. be like it's always day. good to win. Yeah, I won. I got the course record. So it's, how did you yeah. feel out there? Now, how did how did you how did you enjoy the the crowds? Did you, have you have you run in an environment like this before, a race like this before, with big crowds really close to you? crowd is amazing amazing i like the crowd like that's what kept me going because i could see the light the, just the light was flicking and going away from me but then i was just grinding because the fans were like yeah full of lights you, like everyone was cheering the guy over there like he was just cheering he was like pointing the lights it's like go 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 so <laughs> it's a good race you know definitely it's like a lot of a lot of people out here that love running so that's that tells a lot you seem to have enjoyed your time in London as well this week, and I can see that you know a few of the people here as well, like Chris Thompson. You were yeah. speaking to at the end. I go way back, you know. I go way back. I've been we've been in the circuit together, like road races. So it's it's, it's been a, it's, it's been it's been amazing. So might might we see you back here again in a future year? For sure, for sure. I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no. So it's good. Yeah. The only bad thing is the the cold weather. It's always cold in London. Yeah, it's, <laughs> but it's, it's nice. I've always had success in London, so it's good. Yeah. So, so what's your plans now after this? Where, where do you go now racing-wise? Uh, really, I'm really happy because it's a good way to start the track season. Because, you know, I was worried, you know, last year. Last year I had a really bad track season. It wasn't a good track season. So right now, uh, getting a good race, winning, it's a good predictor for my season. So i got to just keep going, get back to training and got to keep walking out. Yeah. yeah. I heard uh, some people thought you might not be in great shape coming into this race, but you've proved that you are You're in pretty good shape. You know, people call me out sometimes. Yeah. And I like that. <laughs> You like I go to the wrong. Olympics, they call me out. I go to the World Championships, they call me out. Call me out. So, I mean, I'm a, I'm a championship machine. So I, I I always show up when when it matters. When it's time to run fast, I'll show. Up. But it's if it's no time. I just get inside the cave and, and just focus on training and and just do my work. Because uh, for me, really, I think about my mind is on long term. You know. Yeah. Whatever Elliot Kipchoge is doing, Elliot Kipchoge didn't show up in like races and just try to grind every other race and try to win when he was when he was younger yeah but now Elliot Kipchoge is like a legend yeah of course he was smart he tried to do the best that he could do to do you find he's a real him. role model then the 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 path of his career you just, it's something that yourself and every other runner would like to emulate definitely if, one thing I, I wish I could do is have his dis discipline you know yeah <laughs> for me it's like I'm almost like a bubbly guy, I'm all over the place. Yeah. So it's like I'm, I'm way different from him, but uh, I look up to him in a lot of things, in a lot of ways. And he's a really amazing guy, very humble guy. So 